Um, you can use gas. So, yeah. Use gas. Gas. You can use uh, um. Rocket engine. Okay. That would power our boat. I don't know how efficient it would be, how good it would be, but it would, it would power the boat. You could use some chemicals. Yeah, you could. You could use some. Um... What about? Soap. Soap. So, I made an ocean. And we're going to try and make a boat out of three different pieces of material. So, paper. Mm -hmm. Write paper down. Paper. We're going to use like hard paper from the bank. <laughs> Come off. Hard paper? Yeah. And then we're going to use hardcore. Cardboard. Cardboard. And then we're going to try and use soap to power our boats. So we have. Let's see if my artistic skills are fresh. <laughs> I think we both know they're probably not. Yeah. Art is not my strong point. <laughs> so we can't. Have our, we have our boat. Very technical boat. <laughs> okay. We have... Our boat is floating now. Let's try. What happened with the paper, do you think? It is slightly moving, but not very fast. Yeah, and it just worked. So it is moving. Mm -hmm. I'm not touching it, I'm not blowing it. But what do you think happened to the, the paper? I think what happened to the paper, I don't think it was the soap, I think it was the movement of the water. Okay. Do you think the paper got soggy? Um, yes. Paper probably doesn't work. No, I've got soap all over my hand. Let's try the car paper. It's a bit more waterproof. Try. Oh, bubbles. Bubbles. Let's try adding the soap before we put it in. Ready? Yes. Work this morning. None of my experiments ever work when I do them. With. So the card paper is still too soft. So you can see it's gotten all soggy. Soggy. This worked this morning perfectly, and now as soon as I'm on video, it doesn't work. Okay, cardboard has to work this time. So this should work now. If it doesn't, I'm going to be very upset. It looks like it's moving. It is. It's supposed to dart across the water really quickly. 
I think you're not adding that much soap, maybe. Let's try again in a different one. It is moving a little bit. You can see that it is. We want it to move much faster. Because I'm impatient. Let things happen quickly. So they are moving, just not as quickly as I put them. So have you ever seen one of those bugs? Bugs? That floats on the water. Are you saying bugs? Yeah, so have you seen a bug that floats on the water? Um, mosquito? Yep. So there's this thing with water and it's called surface tension. Let me try a different one. There we go, a bit quicker now. There's this thing called surface tension. And if there wasn't this thing called surface tension, we wouldn't be alive. Be nothing would exist. Try and demonstrate it in a different way. So we have a coin. What do you think will happen if I drop water onto it? Um, it's just gonna get wet. Do you think? So, what's what kind of shape it starts to make? It's like a dome. Can you see the dome on top of the... Yes. And then when you break that, it spills over. Yeah. So this is surf called surface tension and it allows the bugs to stand on top of water. Uh, humans can't walk on water because they're too heavy. But the bugs, if they, if they have four, because bugs have four legs, they can distribute their weight evenly, like a boat. It can float, but it doesn't sink. Okay. Do you like, so five different ways that I can pop a balloon. There we go. There's gonna be five different ways to pop a balloon. Four different ways. We can get a pin and pop it. Yep. You can squeeze it. Well, I can like stand on it. Yeah. You can um, you can you can put it against something that looks really spiky. Um, you could pop it by. Um, getting the scissors and cutting it. Yep. Only blow up five balloons. Might get that. Mm hmm And you could put it, you could, um, if it's full of your air, you can let go and then the air will go out. Got like powdery stuff in it. Mm -hmm. Um
you could um what about if i heat it up oh yeah you can heat it up i have a really really weird way but i'm not sure oh, these are full of like powder to stop them sticking together okay one more glue one more So I could stab it. So I could stand on it, right? Yeah, you can squeeze it. <laughs> this one doesn't want to pop. This balloon doesn't want to pop. <laughs> uh, That's bad. What about if I have, let me grab a knife to cut this with. So this is going to seem a bit weird. But I promise it will work. What about, can I pop it with an R? Think I could use orange peel to pop the balloon? Gigi, you there? Gigi. Sorry, I just needed to go to the bathroom. So, did you see what I had in my hand? I think it was a pot bullet. Is that, is that? Oh, that's a skin of, is that a? Do you think I can deflate, deflate or completely pop the balloon using only <laughs> orange? I'm going to make holes in the balloons using orange peel. Do you know how I can do that? No, I don't think you can do it. You don't think I can do it? You don't think I can make this balloon deflate using my orange peel? No. Deeply offended by your lack of faith in me. <laughs> so. so you cannot pop it with something that's not sharp or like, or anything like that. Okay. Well there. That's just orange juice. That's definitely orange juice. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Told you I could do it. <laughs> you had no faith. <laughs> so there is a thing in the orange peels. I was I was expecting that, it's still what made me jump. Old heart's gone a bit fast. Too old for this. <laughs> so, we can dissolve sugar into water, can't we? Okay. If I want to make my coffee or my tea sweet, I add sugar. 
So we can dissolve something into something else. Okay. So two things become one thing. So the orange pill has a chemical in it that dissolves the outside of the blue. So when you spray, we'll do it one more time and I'll try not to sit right in front of it this time. Whew. Still uh, Don't jump. <laughs> Okay, one more time, just to prove that it wasn't a trick. See, the knife is there, I'm not touching the knife. So you can see me doing it as well. Okay. I might need a fresh orange peel actually. Right, are we ready? Yep. <laughs> Did that make you jump again? Oh, I was ready for that one. I was more ready for that one. <laughs> I'm just going to set my phone up so I can film that. We'll do one more time, what do you reckon? Okay. Fresh piece of orange. Eat all the stuff. I'll eat all the orange out from the peel so it doesn't put orange juice everywhere. Orange is a delicious. Every morning, my two-year-old comes up with two oranges, one for me, one for me. <laughs> Wakes up, gets two oranges or mandarins, and that's how we start our day, currently. Did she give you that orange? No, I went, had to go. Oranges don't last very long in this house. <laughs> okay, so. Orange peel to pop. We're using orange peel to pop our balloon. Nothing else, no tricks. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Made me jump. Wait, what's that blue thing on the table? Just a straw. Oh, I thought it was something that made the balloon pop. No, I promise. It's just a straw, look, see? Uh, what's a straw? Okay. Have you got a potato and a straw in your house? No. Don't have a potato or a straw. Um, I think I might have a potato. I might check. Just check. We don't have a potato or a straw. Or a straw. We used them up already. That's okay. So no got. Four different straws and I have my potato. Just had to give it a wash because it was very dirty. <laughs> little potato. <laughs> Here's a little potato. Do you think I can stick these straws through? Yes. I don't have a lack of faith. This one? Probably not. No. <laughs> This one? Maybe. A little bit, okay. What about this piece of roller? Not really. What if I put my finger over the top? Maybe. So, 
it got in further than when I didn't. And that's because that is because when you push the straw in without holding, you end up it pushes the air out. So the air comes out of the top of the straw. But if I put my finger over the straw, it goes straight in. If I was to try and do it without putting my finger over the top, look, nothing happens. So even if you push the hardest you can, it never works. Only yeah. if you put your finger on the top. Exactly. So that's because pushing, pushing down forces all the air out. So, oh, when I push down, all the air is being pushed out through the top of the straw. But if I hold the top of the straw. Oh, it's pushing, pushing the air against the thing so, so you can put the straw through. Exactly. So, try with this one so you can see there's no tricks. Doesn't really work. But if I put my finger over the straw, magic. So that's air pressure. So we're forcing the air out. So next time you go shopping, make sure you get a potato and you can teach your family how to stick straws into it. Answering the big questions. Okay. 26 per square and things on my desk. I want to take all the colour out of this coat. How can I do? Um, what do you reckon? I think you have to get something that will suck the co colour out of it and leave only like white. Okay, let's try it out. Look, listen, fresh, it's fresh, it's no tricks. Fresh bottle of Coke. Yeah, it's Coke. Now, before we start, very, very dangerous. Bleach. Yep, I'm gonna go get my gloves. Two <laughs> seconds, because it is quite dangerous. Uh, if you spill bleach on your clothes, it would, it would make these shorts white. Can it burn through your skin? If it's strong enough, yeah, this won't. This is just for cleaning. So if you put this in your whites, in your washing, it'll make them really white. If you accidentally put them in with your colours, it'll make your colours really white. Again, it is very, very dangerous. You see what it's done to the coke? It's taking away its colour. Yep, so if you uh, put that on your clothes, what do you think is going to happen? It might turn um, white. Mm -hmm. 
it will take away all the color. Even if we keep adding more coat, it won't get any darker. See? <laughs> Only with a little tiny bit of bleach. Yeah, and the more bleach you add. The whiter it gets. The lighter it gets. Um, if you did accident, this is why you don't go into your parents' cleaning cupboards or do anything with these. Because if you drank this, it would do this to you. It would just take, it would just burn everything away. So even if you accidentally took a sip of it, accidentally got it on your hands and then wiped it on your eyes or your mouth, it would really hurt. So it's really important to not touch any of the cleaning uh, stuff. Essentials. Sorry? Essentials, clean essentials. Yeah, they are really dangerous. So bleach, it's still making it white. It'll make it completely clear eventually. Bleach, yeah, it, it's it's dangerous, but you can do some cool stuff. If I had a piece of fabric that I didn't care about, I'd show you what it does to clothes. Hmm. But I don't because I don't want to bleach my clothes. Bleach an old one. Sorry. You could bleach an old one that you don't want anymore. I could, but I don't know if I have anything older in one anymore. Right. Is everything new in your closet? Yeah, I'm pretty good at getting rid of stuff. Or I just wear it until it dies. So we're going to build over I'll the... What were you saying, sorry? I'll, st I'll just take it away when it's old. Well, I don't know. I'm not cool. But I just wear, I just wear clothes. So as of next week, we're gonna work on. You heard of a Rube Goldberg machine? No. We're gonna make one. It's not gonna be as good as this one. Occasions should be celebrated, but Tim suffers like it. And Tom so I want to do so they use Gaviscon dual action tablets, which neutralize stomach acid and this is not with it. blocks acid reflux. Try Gaviscon dual action. So we have a Rube Goldberg machine. So we start, and it has a like a series of events. And one thing knocks over another thing, knocks over another thing, knocks over another thing. I love those. So we're going to build one. Do you see it on the screen? This is all about energy transfer. So the energy from it's moving too quickly. The energy from the ball is transferred into the cup and then transfers into this, to this. So all the energy that we have at the start. So good. <laughs> took a whole month to make this and then a whole month to get it to work. Two whole months. Yeah.
getting close to the end. Well, that is really cool. So we're going to, using, as of next week, we're going to start building one of those in my garage. Using all the different scientific principles and techniques that we've developed, uh, learned about <clears throat> over the past five or six weeks. And you're going to help me build it. You're going to, do you want to design one at home? Let me see how you go. <coughs> see if you can make even just a little one. Okay, I might find a little one. Like three steps. And then I'll, we'll build a big one with lots of different chemical reactions. We'll put coke into Mentos, and then at the end of the term, we'll set it off. Yeah. If you make a little one at home and look at someone on YouTube, 